Hello folks, this is 2022 October November paper 1 1 and the question number is 15. This question is concerned with the chapter of uh, forces, natural pressure, and it is concerned with the uh, upthrust. So it says a box in the shape of a cube, a cube falls from a ship, ship into the sea, into the sea. The box lands with its lower face level with the surface of the sea. So lower face level with the surface of the sea. The box begins to sink. Yes, it has to. Be, uh, becomes totally submerged and then sinks deeper into the ocean. So this is uh, sinking deeper in the ocean. As the box sinks, its lower face is always parallel to the surface of the sea. So lower face always parallel to the surface of the sea. Yeah. Which graph best represents the variation of the upthrust acting on the box with the depth of its lower face below the surface uh, of the sea? So we have to we have to uh, see the graph of the variation of upthrust with the depth of the lower face. Depth of the lower face. So that means it is the depth of the immersed portion. I can say it as the depth of the immersed portion. First thing that we have to remember is, the first thing that we need to remember is the force of upthrust, the force of upthrust is equal to weight of liquid displaced. And that's equal to mass of liquid displaced into G. Mass of liquid displaced into G. And that will be equal to, equal to volume of liquid displaced into density of liquid into Z because mass equal to volume into density. And this becomes equal to equal to volume of immersed portion, volume of immersed portion of the solid into rho L into Z because only the immersed portion can displace the liquid. So that's why volume of liquid displaced should be equal to volume of the immersed portion. And this will be equal to equal to uh, depth of the immersed portion, immersed portion into area into rho L into G. So depth of the immersed portion into A into rho L into G. So now if uh, I just compare this and this, I must have, I must have, this uh, force of upthrust is directly proportional to depth of immersed portion. All others are constant here. So that means the graph should be a straight line passing through the origin. The graph should be the straight line passing through the origin. So that means uh, this could be one of them. This cannot be one of them. And this also cannot be here. We have got some portion of straight line, so it could be. Now, after full immersion, after full immersion, what we have is the depth of immersed portion is equal to is equal to whole depth, the whole the whole complete depth of the body, complete depth, or I can say the complete thickness of the body. So that's why after that, the force of upthrust will be equal to equal to depth complete depth complete into a into rho l into g. So after full immersion, this thing is constant, 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 constant. So after full immersion, it's equal to constant, and this thing is equal to depth of immersion, the maximum depth of immersed portion. So that means this upthrust is the maximum, and it is constant. This upthrust is the maximum as well as constant. So that means here no constant uh, upthrust is observed. So this is not the correct choice, and here we have the correct choice because it says upthrust constant after reaching a maximum value. So C is the correct choice.